Hello everybody, thank you for joining me today for another Twilight Zone video in my Twilight Zone ranking series where I rank every episode of the original Twilight Zone from my least favorite to my favorite. Today I'm going to be talking about number 95, I Shot an Arrow Into the Air, written by Rod Serling based on a short story by Madeline Champion, I hope I'm saying that correctly. This episode was directed by Stuart Rosenberg, I Shot an Arrow Into the Air is a season one episode and as always there will be episode spoilers. So, this episode uh, is pretty good. As a character study, I think this episode's really good, maybe even great. As a Twilight Zone episode with a great twist, I'm not convinced that this episode totally works, but I'll get into that more as I go. So, this one uh, is about four men who crash land from outer space uh, onto an unknown place. Where are they? And they also have a problem because they have limited supplies. So the two main actors in this episode, Dewey Martin as Corey and Edward Bins as the Colonel, uh, Donlin I believe his name is, they're both good. They do a good job. Uh, I do like there's a very interesting contrast between the two characters where Donlin is about his moral code and wants to try and save everyone, do best do what's best for everyone, while Corey is more about surviving as long as he can and uh, not really worrying about the rest. And the two contrasting characters, in my opinion, are the best thing about the episode. So, uh, when the episode starts, the four men have already crashed. One of them is hurt pretty badly. Uh, Corey starts arguing with Donlin and the other man, whose name is Pearson, about whether to give the injured man water and supplies or not. Uh, and the man eventually does pass away, but this leaves Corey at odds with the other two survivors. So, Pearson and Corey go out exploring. Corey returns alone, but Donlin notices that Corey has more water on him. So, he wants to know what, what's going on. Corey tells a tale that we know probably isn't true. Eventually, they do find Pearson, the other two men, but he's badly wounded. And he tries to draw something in the sand, but he passes on before he can finish it. So at this point, Corey, uh, I guess, is just fed up with everybody. So he decides he's going to kill Donlin, and he treks off alone, thinking his chances of survival will be better. But eventually, Corey finds telephone lines and other evidence that he never left Earth. Now, while this twist seems interesting on the surface, I ask myself, and others have mentioned this as well, would four astronauts not really know they were on Earth? I mean, shouldn't they know about these things? Maybe not the one that's you know, wounded and in really bad shape. But the other three, especially someone in charge, you really got to go with this one. And it's just not totally convincing to me. The twist is a little, uh, little too much to believe, even for the Twilight Zone. Others might find it to their satisfaction, though. But I do really love the moral dilemmas in this episode. And the characters are interesting. And it's a fast-paced uh, episode. So overall, that's why I shot an arrow into the air is still a solid episode and it's number 95 on the list. As always, feel free to leave me a comment on whether you like this episode or not. Thanks for your support and thanks for watching.